comes from the First Division, where Norwich City, reinforced by the return to English football of Martin Chivers, the former Spurs star who's been in Switzerland, of course, now turning out, in fact, against one of his previous clubs, Southampton, who really fought their way back into the First Division. So how would Chivers, and indeed the former Orient defender, Phil Hoadley, shape up? How would Southampton shape up to that new challenge of First Division football? Commentator Jerry Harrison explains the pictures come from Anglia Television. Norwich here are in the plain shirts. And um, McDougall getting a dig in at Kevin Bond, and Peters misses out there as he comes in. Boyer, Curran out there. Sullivan goes to him. And Powell will have this one easily enough. Quickly to a neighbor who's looking very enthusiastic. Peaches come over with him. And Williams has done a great job here. Williams is through. And here's McDougall. Grotesque miss. Ted McDougall, who usually makes his old clubs pay dearly for letting him go, had a great opportunity there. It was opened up for him by 21-year-old Steve Williams on that right, picking his way through the penalty area. A lot of space, change direction. McDougall coming in in a perfect position, but a miss. Ryan ooh, and Neighbor will have it. Gets away from Curran. Good play. In for Chivers, he gets it, and Peter's not quick enough as Williams takes it off him, and Boyer goes down the middle. This is dangerous. Boyer blocked, and McDougall couldn't get it as Sullivan got it away. And a goal kick given. Was that another miss by Ted McDougall, or was that a great save by Colin Sullivan? It was a save by Sullivan because the corner's now been given. But what a great through ball from Williams to Boyer. It looked wide open, a brilliant save by Keenan, and then again, of a different sort, a great save as McDougall came in by Sullivan. Here's a corner. Pickering can't get it. Boyer turning it back to Baker. Space here for Curran. Peach is just behind him. Curran can get by Bond. No. Good balance by the fullback. A lot of Southampton players still in there. Here goes Pickering. Ooh, yeah. Caught from Barnsley as a defender and looking a bit like it there. Chivers with Pickering. Chivers again. Out to Robson. Forward for Reeves. It was aimed for anyhow. Didn't get there. Throw in to Norwich. Neighbours crept into the penalty area. Reeves is up there wide. Robson's driven ball. Ryan can't quite get there. And rocketed onto the stand roof by Baker as Ryan came in and put the squeeze on him. Neighbour, Peter's coming to the near post over his head. And flicked him really quickly by Reeves. So Kevin Reeves, seven minutes before half time, opens the new season's account for Norwich City. Reeves, who's looked so impressive in the pre-season games, five out of six, five goals in six games. He pulled the sucker punch here on Southampton. As a neighbour put the corner across, Peters went forward off the near post, dragged a couple of defenders with him. Reeves was left with a lot of room. The goalkeeper, Wells, didn't come to fill the gap, and he tucked it in nicely. 1-0. Williams in here. Williams with a cross. Bond's clearance, another great one. Baker can't control it. Chivers has got time, Neighbours there, and a space down that right. Ryan, this is the sort of position he loves, with Reeves coming in towards the near post. But Waldron's there first, and now it's Ryan. A brilliant break, but it all hinged on a mistake by Malcolm Waldron, the Southampton defender. When that ball came down the right-hand side to Ryan, he was in a great position. He quickly saw Reeves coming in. Waldron should have had it, 
he had a little bit of support from his goalkeeper, but Reeves kept fighting. Waldron lost, and in the end it rolled invitingly to John Ryan, and it's 2-0. Boyer's fouled, but Neighbour is warned. The game is allowed to go on, and that's another foul. And again, the game allowed to go on as the ball comes through. Finds Boyer in a good position. Chip over the head of Keelan. Off the bar. Beautiful play. Curran back again. Bond should have it away. And here it is. Well, a let-off there for Norwich City as they play the ball around outside the area. When Boyer went through there, goalkeeper had to come towards his near post. He chipped it over the top of him but they were rescued by the bar. Sullivan to Peters, square out there is Bond with a lot of room. He can go forward a long way. Peach has fallen into the middle. Out there is Neighbour now, pickering with him. Neighbour's cross. There's Chivers. <laughs> it's looking really good. Martin Chivers, return from the wilderness of Switzerland, puts number three past goalkeeper Peter Wells, his first for Norwich City. A touch of the old Spurs there, Jimmy Neighbour, left with a bit of room, just jinxed by Pickering, the chip onto the head of the big fella, and no trouble at all for Martin Chivers, 3-0, and his first for Norwich City. Waldron and Ball. Williams. The rebound goes back to Williams and on to Curran. There's uh, Hebbard here. Boyer just in front of him. Curran. Boyer found with a bit of room. Powell's there. And Sullivan. McDougall. They got that ball away. It was an awkward one. But McDougall makes them pay and improves the scoreline as far as Southampton is concerned with six and a half minutes to go. Well, they had a lot of room on the edge of that area and just inside it as Boyer got the ball. The ball chipped forward. It looked as if Sullivan was going to get the ball away. Perhaps there's a misunderstanding between him and Keelan. And Ted McDougall, as everybody knows, cashes in on that situation. 3-1 then.